Hi, it's Gil Robles here, and I'm just back with a video after a, um, a brief pause or a brief time where I wasn't able to do anything because my computer crashed on me, and uh, I have a problem with my hard drive, and I, I just got to get a new hard drive, um, but it, it crashed, and I had to spend time loading all the software back up, and I lost a, a ton of stuff including a bunch of videos that I had intended to edit and put here on YouTube and so forth, but I, I lost all that stuff. You know, I still have the artwork, thank goodness, but uh, the, the, the videos, not so much. Um, so I'm starting to build up again, and this is just a short video to say that I'm back. I, I did the sketch on Leonardo, and uh, I, I just want to uh, hurry up and post something, uh, one, just to... to, to, to um, to show my viewers that I'm back, that uh, even though my hard drive uh, crashed on me, my, my computer crashed on me, and um, I had to, like I said, download all the software I had previously, um, and as well as I, I got to go back into um, looking at the settings I had for the different software like OBS uh, Studio, which I use to record these videos, especially on my computer. Um, and also uh, Premiere Pro uh, because I'm not a techie guy. I'm, I'm an artist. I'm, I'm not uh, um, so much into uh, the software other than the, the, the digital, uh, you know, digital uh, um, art software. Uh, but the, all this other stuff uh, I'm not into. And uh, I had written down all these settings. I just got to get back into those and, and make sure that I'm using all the proper settings when I'm doing uh, these uh, um, these videos or recording while I'm, I'm drawing on um, on the software that I like using, like uh, Leonardo, one of them, and uh, which I'm using here, um, and which you know one of the reasons why I like uh, a software like Leonardo is the fact that I, I it, it's really not that technical. It's really you can basic it's very intuitive you can just uh, really pick a brush and start drawing and then get the hang of it as you go along and it just takes very little to so but anyway I'm just like I said this is a quick video to say that I am back um, but it's also an opportunity for a little shameless promotion here or uh, or just asking for help you know because um, what I do is I make these videos I'm also asking for uh, support uh, in order to to continue to do this uh, even though I will continue to do this regardless but um, you know I, I have a patreon channel where you can join and support uh, this channel I mean patreon page where you can support this channel and uh, um, you know I have tiers you get videos you get uh, uh, more uh, of a uh, more of a tutorial type uh, a video and as well as uh, videos that I have on Gumroad, which is another way of supporting this channel. But um, from my Patreon page, you can just uh, be able to watch the videos from there. And um, anything that I post on Gumroad, I'll uh, make uh, accessible to my Patreons on Patreon, uh, my patrons on Patreon. But anyway, uh, um, depending on the tier that you choose, it's a, really a dollar would go a long way in helping this channel and you'd be uh, getting a, a, um, a sketchbook, a monthly sketchbook month, as well as a um, uh, 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 high resolution uh, image, which you can, you can download and, and use it for wallpaper, whatever, whatever you choose to do with it. And, um, for for the, the the three dollar tier, you get all of that plus videos that I make exclusively for Patreon. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Then, if you look below, you you can also support this channel by purchasing a T-shirt, which I, uh, there's a few of them which have uh, great artist quotes I, I, that I find inspiring that you can uh, share with your artist friends and so forth. And like I said, there's also Gumroad videos and one ebook and uh, um, I, I keep the prices there pretty low you know you don't have to pay an arm and a leg to, 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 to learn 
from me whatever I know I, I, I want to make accessible um, and and uh, I, I try to go pretty far as well on these YouTube videos uh, you can uh, um, the other thing you can do is subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's a lot more videos there's a lot more um, tutorial type videos as well um, I, like I said this one I'm just uh, just throwing in there is kind of like a speed sketch I'm talking a little bit but that's about it um, in terms of uh, just uh, uh, letting my viewers know that I'm back and that I will be making more videos uh, soon and you know, uh, I like I like going around and 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 uh, um, using different mediums, whether it's digital or traditional, and, and I bounce around a lot in terms of mediums um, because it's fun, because it's fun, and because having a YouTube channel, I, I just can't. You know, as long as uh, um, the 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 basic thing here is not really the medium is it's drawing itself regardless of what you use whether it's it's um, digital um, whether it's uh, um, traditional you know whether it's paint whether it's pencil whether it's ink uh, it, it's all about the ability to create an image you know and 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 all of it uses the same type of discipline I use digital the same way I, I, I approach it the same way I would if I was using a pencil and paper over here there, there's virtually no difference there, there's um, some things that the digital medium will give you that that, that you know you don't have in other media um, that's uh, working on layers but you know again I, I could be working on a light box or I could be working on different layers of, of tracing paper or, or vellum you know it, it just uh, um, there are other ways of doing that as well or you know um, uh, um, but pretty much uh, I, I was gonna mention the undo button but I don't really use that all that much I do at times though but sometimes I just go to what I'm used to and that's just using the eraser because I, I use the eraser um, as a drawing tool as well as as just to, to, to take things out so there's you know there's different ways of using the, the, the tools uh, all of that all that I, I've learned uh, um, drawing traditionally is what I bring to drawing digitally. So there, there's very, very little difference in in, in um, my approaches as far as I'm concerned. All of it relies on an ability to draw. And, and I try to bring that to whatever it is that I do. Um, but the same thing with, you know, it, it's like if you're working with traditional media um, if you're working in watercolor of course you have a different approach to what uh, to um, to something um, than you would working in something like oils or pastel it, it's a different approach but there's a lot of things that are similar which um, really it relies on your your memory your observation your ability to draw and so forth all of that is incorporated in whatever it is that you do um, so that um, th there's some similarities across the board whether you wh whatever traditional media you use or whether you use traditional or digital media there's similarities across the bo board all of them rely on these things your memory your observation your ability to draw um, with that a sense of color could come in and and other things but um, those first three I think are the most important to me because that's the foundation of everything now the other thing besides all of that is once you 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 learn how to draw you have a great technical ability and I'm not saying that I do I, I, everything is for me is it's it's um, constantly growing constantly learning constantly trying to get better which is the reason why I, I draw and I practice daily but um, <clears throat> with that you know it's making an image that's interesting because the art isn't in what you what your the technical skill and what you're able to do 
that just helps you. It's kind of like learning how to write. You learn how to write. You learn how to spell. You learn how to put together a sentence. You learn how to um, put together a paragraph. But then you have to have something to say. Because you can put a paragraph on nonsense or you can talk. You can even talk uh, um, about whatever it is you want to talk about. But if it's not interesting, nobody's going to listen to it. That's the same thing with drawing. You can develop all the technical skill you want. And you can become very proficient at it and very good. And that will wow people. It definitely will wow people for, for, for a time. But what stays with people is what's not what's technically proficient, but what what has um, an impact. How to use your shapes. Did you say something that was important? Did you say something that has meaning? Did you say something that uh, uh, um, that stays with the viewer? I mean, there's some paintings that stay with us, not so much for the technical ability, though it, it may wow us and, and it may draw us in because there's an, an, there is definitely an importance to it. I'm not throwing that out the window. I, I enjoy it. But... Um, and I enjoy trying to get better at it, but it's not the technical ability. It's what are you saying with what, what you have? You know, what, what are you saying? What, how is it that this drawing is interesting? If you're writing, how is it that this paragraph or this story is interesting? Is it, is it just that you're just good at putting words together, but it, it has no, 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 great interest beyond that it doesn't it doesn't call for anything extra from you so anyway that that's the way i view uh um working in different media and that's what i try to bring to my channel is just uh, i it's not just uh, the different media the different media provides me a, a, an opportunity to, to 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 just throw in and have some fun and 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 learn you know learn learn how to uh, a different approach or whatever but um, the the main stays are there. Is that's the the ability to draw, the ability to uh, um, to to see things and to and to, to, to share what I see, and um, and to try and make something interesting out of uh, uh, what it is that that that, that I'm, I'm trying to present. Uh, some of these are just uh, just sketches that I throw and and you know I, I just try to learn from. But other times I, I try to do something a little bit more. Well, anyway, this is the, the end of this video. This is the, the finished uh, um, drawing that I did in Leonardo, just using the, the pencil tool. Um, just the pencil and the eraser tool, really. Uh, but apart from that, please, like I said, uh, if you like this video, share it. Uh, there's more to come. Uh, I'm going to be back up and running and, and, and definitely post more videos. Um, uh, uh, definitely subscribe if you, you haven't already. And consider, uh, I'll leave the links below, uh, supporting this channel on Patreon or, or Gumroad or, or um, uh, purchasing a, a shirt on Teespring, which is down below. Thanks a lot, and I will be back sh uh, soon, shortly, with another video. Bye-bye.